This is my friend Adrian. Oh, hello. His family is using a 27 inch iMac. Heavy as f which is still using the two terabyte hard drive that came with a computer back in 2010, which is really, really slow. I have this slow ass iMac. So to make his 2010 iMac feel more usable in 2021, he picked up a new 500 gigabyte SSD, which I will be installing. All right, so today is day two of me installing the stuff. I have the SSD ready. I have my screwdriver set. I'll link the correct uh, screwdriver in the description below. And disclaimer, uh, my last tool I'm gonna use to take off the display, the glass from the display of the iMac. People usually uh, use these little suction cups that you can buy online, but I didn't buy it, so I'm gonna use one of these bad boys. Don't worry, it's clean, all right? It's, uh, it's just a really big suction cup that you use for other purposes, but so I'm gonna start cleaning the iMac now and then I'm gonna take off the glass with my crazy uh, tools. Oh. Oh. Make it look as new as possible for my buddy, Adrian. This part is the scary part. Um, I don't recommend doing this. I recommend getting the suction cups that are meant to do this, not one of these. But anyways, the magnets are on these edges, right? So guessing for the most the leverage. I'll just start at one corner and just start just slowly pull it and you can see it comes right off perfectly fine um, but now I just need to get this thing off okay perfect nice and easy just gonna work my way around get all the magnets and Pull this off now. And there you go. Nice and easy. So this is the the glass. Now I'm just gonna rest it on the side here so it doesn't mess up. Now comes the fun part of unscrewing all of the screws. Right there. That's one of them. They're just located around the whole display. Here's my tools. Maybe a T10 screw. Let's see. Should have done more research. Um, Oh, by the way, you don't want to touch this screen. Um, yeah, it's hard to clean. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google which parts of the monitor I need to unscrew. Okay, so I just watched the video and there's four screws on the left and four screws on the right. And it does use a Torx T10 tip screw. So it's, yeah, make sure you have one of these and you'll be set. Don't do that. All right, so now that I unscrewed all of it, I'm just gonna put my fingers in these corners right here, and then just lift it. All right, so hopefully you guys can see, ah, I can't see it. Um, and there, those are the two screws you need to unscrew to get the hard drive out. And there's also two ribbon cables, the SATA and the power. It's a little dark, um, but it's in there. And just unplug those and then unscrew it and then take it out. I have the hard drive out of the display or out of the computer. So now I'm gonna open this up. The Samsung 870 Evo with 500 gigabytes of SSD storage. Cool, it's gonna be fast. And to make this stay in the computer, I'm actually just gonna put some double-sided tape on this and then stick it on. And the SSD is going to be going in like this way, like right, pretend it's behind the screen. So I'm going to put tape on this side, just like this. All right, so the SSD is now in. Um, only problem is it doesn't really lay flat, so the tape on the other side didn't really do anything. So um, I'm just going to let it rest there. It should be fine. All right, just to make sure everything is um, working Right, and I can still boot. I'm just gonna plug in a uh, old keyboard and uh, power the machine on, but then I'm gonna hold Command and R and see if it boots into recovery mode before I screw all the screws. I don't wanna screw everything in, I have to like, you know, screw it, un unscrew it. Yeah, it's just a pain. So, here we go. Moment of truth. All right, so 
I'm gonna start screwing in the, the screws. Um, I don't recommend doing this while the computer's powered on, but I'm like impatient, so here we go. So I put tape on the screwdriver so the screw won't fall off um, when I'm putting it back into the computer. All right, so another thing to take note of is these uh, these little rectangles are magnets. So when you screw it in, your, your screwdriver tends to like lock onto it. So just be careful of that. This um, double-sided tape thing is working really, really well. Yeah. From the videos I've watched, um, we have to go to disk utility. So I'm gonna go there. Okay, so the Magic Mouse didn't work, so I'm using this instead. It's the Logitech whatever mouse. We have to go into Disk Utility. Alright, okay, I'm gonna erase this. I'm gonna name it Macintosh HD. I'm not sure if you have to, but this guy says so, so I'm gonna do it. And then... Sure, I'll do these things. Erase it. Cool. And um, that should be fine. I'm gonna quit this utility up here. So I'm just gonna reinstall Mac OS. Recovery server cannot be contacted. What? I disconnected from the Wi Fi, so I'm just gonna type in my Wi Fi password. And then I'm gonna reinstall Mac OS. Agree. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so I have the hard drive, it looks good. And now it's gonna install Mac OS High Sierra onto the SSD. If you would like to learn how to use voiceover to No, I don't want to learn, no. Next, all right, cool. So I okay, would choose the keyboard layout, get my Wi-Fi. I mean, you just do all the things you do to set uh, like a new Mac up. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so another thing I need to add is the uh, fan control for the SSD. So there are actually three cables you need to unplug in the back, one for power, one for data, and one for the f temperature sensor. And so the SSDs don't have a temperature sensor, so I downloaded Max Fan Control, like right here, Max Fan Control. And instead of setting it to auto, which will get the sensor, well, since there's no sensor, it's gonna be really, it's gonna think it's really hot, so the fan's gonna be really loud. But I set it based to um, the CPU temperature, um, is it should be okay, but this guy on the forums says that he sets the hard drive fan to a fixed value of 180 RPM. I think he means 1800 RPM. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to say constant RPM value. I'm going to put 1800 right there. All right. So I'm going to click OK. And now it's running perfectly fine and really quiet. Everything opens really fast. So if I close Safari, open it back up, an SSD. So it's like super fast. Let's go to Apple. Oh, this is probably more based on network speed, but if anything, but yeah. Also, this is running Mac OS High Sierra, and you can see this is a mid-2010 mid iMac uh, with a first-gen Intel Core i7, yeah. DDR3 RAM with 8 gigs, a really shitty GPU. And let's see the storage, right? That's why we upgraded this, so storage. We have a 500 gigabyte SSD. Turn on. Oh, I did. Dude, that's pretty quick already, dude. Oh yeah, that's a lot faster. <laughs> wow, so quick. <laughs> Can I open something? Yeah. Open Google Chrome. <laughs> Wait, that's so much faster. Bro. <laughs> You're missing out, bro. Bro. What I open? You could open everything. Okay. Bro, that's so fast. <laughs> everything open. Get that. Could you try again? So that's it. If you have any questions about how to do this or if I missed a step, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.